Hello, and welcome to Solution School. Today we're going to be going over Map Counts Chapter Tips to help you in your chapter competition. Make sure to subscribe to get new notifications when new videos are uploaded, and hit the bell button that's located right next to the subscribe button. So tip number one is not to stress. Don't worry about how it's going to be. That's just going to raise your anxiety. Although Math Counts is a competition, it's supposed to be fun. You're going to meet new people, you're going to make new friends, and it's going to be a positive experience in every aspect. So tying into that, you're not going to want to overwork. That's also going to raise your anxiety. And make sure you maintain a healthy diet and sleep routines. Tip two is the actual preparation part. So we're going to divide this up into several stages, about four. So stage one is going to be that you just learned you're on the team for chapter. So the current workload is to just start checking out chapter problems from recent years, taking a look at them, what do you know, what don't you know, start making a list of problems that you need to revise for future preparation, etc. So stage two is going to be one week after stage one, just after you learn that you're on the team. So this is going to be the longest stage, and this is the part where you're officially starting to get into your main work. The best way to practice for chapter is to practice previous year's problems that are state and national levels. Preferably, it would be recent years, as recent years are more harder than old years, but any year is fine as long as it's state or national level because the best way to practice for something is to practice harder than that. Check out Solution School for math tips, ideas, and other formulas in well-explained videos. So stage three is the one week right before the competition. So this is the stage when you're going to want to start slowing down. You don't want to overwork here, and it's definitely not as intense as stage two. Also, don't get sick. That's an extreme bus kill. Math Counts Trainer is a tool created by Art of Problem Solving. It can be found at their website. I will post a link in the description below. It's created specifically to help you train for Math Counts. It's got chapter, state, national levels. So if you want to practice for chapter, I suggest setting the difficulty to state and national levels. So continuing on with the stages, stage four is the day before and the day of. Now this is the most important stage in my opinion, apart from maybe the main practice, this can make or break you. Don't cram, by now you should have already learned everything that you could possibly need for chapter. The day before, you want to take a break. Try not to put too much effort into homework or other sports or anything, try to focus just on the competition by relaxing. Don't do anything the night before other than maybe revising problems or some light review of formulas that you thought were tough before. Now on the way to chapter, often it's going to be a bit of a drive because some states are big and the chapter is far away. On the drive there, revise any formulas that you've jotted down or problems that you've had a tough time remembering. Uh, don't do any tough problems, but I recommend a number puzzle like Sudoku to keep your mind active. Tip 3 is the sprint round. So this round is all about time. 30 questions, 40 minutes. It may not seem like it's time pressured, but it truly is. So try to speed through the first ones, because they're usually a lot easier than the last ones. Uh, while maintaining accuracy, make sure you get them all right, because they're all equally weighted. But save time for the last ones, because those are hard. If you're bogged down with a question, make sure you skip it and come back to it. Don't forget to come back to it, though. Every question is weighted the same, so no matter if you get one question wrong, if you have another one that you, that you skip to, that you get right, that's just the same thing. If you can't solve some in the time allotted, or you just flat out don't know it, make sure you double check. Although, you should always double check no matter what happens. And one of the most important things that I see that most students that compete in math counts aren't doing is leaving questions blank. There's no penalty for getting something wrong, so you should just keep guessing away. Every question is weighted the same. People have in history, and I have seen people on my team before, guess something right. So make sure you do it. Tip 4 is the target round. 
use your calculator to its full potential. I know some people don't have proper super fancy calculators, but the one I recommend the most is going to be the TI Inspire uh, CXAS. However, it's pretty pricey. Another good option is the TI-34. In either case, don't just buy a new calculator right before the competition. Make sure you buy it up to a month before so that you can get used to it, know, know your way around the calculator, and then you can use it to its full potential. Now, the first one is usually easier. Like, in each part, pair of two, I mean, the first problem is going to be easier. But start with whichever one you think is easiest. For example, if there was a geometry and a probability questions in one round, the target round, whichever, if you were good in probability, then you're going to want to start with that one first. Whichever one you think will take less time for you to solve. Both of them are equally weighted, so two points. Now, a rule of thumb that I'd like you to stick with is to not spend over three minutes on a problem unless you've already solved the other one. So by that I mean if you're on the first problem and you spent two minutes on that one and four minutes on the other one, that's okay. But if you're spending five minutes on the first problem, you're only going to have one minute on the second problem and that's if you even reach the second problem. That can end out as a pure disaster. So make sure you save some time by not spending over three minutes on a problem. Tip five is going to be the countdown round. You will feel pressure, that's the number one rule of the countdown round, that's kind of the point of the countdown round. Now, usually every chapter is around the top 10. I don't know, I don't know of any states so far that do more than the top 10. I know some states have it in their state competition of the top 12. But in the top 10, one second, which I'm sure you'll make, uh, you'll be in the countdown round. It may or not be official, and by official I mean it may not affect your ranking, uh, but in most states you will have already qualified for the state competition just by being in the top 10 of your chapter. The best way to practice for this round in my opinion is A to look at previous countdown problems, uh, but those are usually pretty easy, and a better way to really practice the pressure is to go onto the For the Win game that can be found at artofproblemsolving.com just as well as you can find the math counts trainer there. Uh, this one I highly recommend, the For the Win game. It's super fun and it puts the pressure on you can compete live with other mathletes. And I will post the link in the description below to that. Tip 6 is the team round. So if you are on your four person team from your school that's going to be taking the team round, make sure that your team and you have a game plan for the team round. Uh, just coming up with it before is also good, but make sure you all know how it works so that you're not wasting your time with four people doing the same problem. So for example, person one does problem one, person two does problem two, person three does problem three, so, and it keeps on going. Like you guys have a chain assembly line, that's good. Anything like that works. Uh, some teams I know, they've got a chart where they write down what problem they're doing but in my opinion I think that's a little too time taking you know so other, in other cases this, should, this is one of the best tactics for you to use in the team round so good luck in your chapter competition I'm, I'm sure that you'll all make state and don't forget to subscribe and post in the comments how it went thanks for watching <laughs>